Maine Coons are one of the most popular cats in the world. Where are they from and what are they like to own? Could a Maine Coon be your perfect cat? This video will help you decide. The Maine Coon is one of the world's oldest natural cat breeds. It's a native American cat that originated in the state of Maine in the early 19th century. However, it wasn't until 1985 that it was declared their official state cat. So how did the breed originate? There are many legends surrounding the origins of the Maine Coon cat. One belief is that the ill-fated French queen Marie Antoinette shipped her Turkish Angora cats to New England from France in 1793, where they bred with local cats to create Maine Coons. Another story claims that Charles Coon, an English sea captain, introduced his long-haired ship's cats to the local cats in Maine, resulting in offspring that became known as Maine Coons. People once thought that Maine Coons were the result of tabby cats breeding with raccoons, but this has been proven to be genetically impossible. This idea may have arisen because many early Maine Coons had ringed tails a bit like those of raccoons. A more plausible tale is that Maine Coons are descendants of a Norwegian skogcat, or forest cat, brought over by Viking settlers. Maine Coons are similar in appearance to this breed, so there could be some element of truth in this idea. However, the lack of official records mean we will never really know the true origin of Maine Coon cats, and so the rumours and legends will continue. The Maine Coon name is also the subject of much debate. Most agree that they are named partly after the state where they originated, but is the Coon part taken from the name Captain Coon, or is it an abbreviation of Raccoon? Or is it from another source? Again, we will never know. One characteristic that Maine Coons are very well known for is their size. They are one of the largest cat breeds and you've probably seen photos of some of the biggest examples. But not many Maine Coons grow to these gargantuan proportions. They generally weigh between 11 and 20 pounds and though males are often larger than females, this isn't always the case. At birth, Maine Coons are often similar in size to other kittens, but then they grow quite rapidly. This is a chart of our current kitten's growth from 13 to 24 weeks. Fred and Oscar are from the same litter, but as you can see, Fred is heavier than Oscar. They can take up to four years to reach their full size. If you'd like to know lots more about Maine Coons, then do consider subscribing, as we'll be publishing plenty more videos about them. Maine Coons are usually well proportioned with rectangular, muscular bodies that reach up to 30 inches in length. Their tails can be almost as long as their bodies. Their legs are sturdy and powerful, especially when it comes to jumping. They can easily leap four to six feet and clamber even higher using their powerful hind legs to push themselves up. Maine Coons are bigger than some small dogs reaching heights of up to 16 inches at the shoulder. The Maine Coon's fur is another stunning feature. Their coat is medium to long, uneven and sometimes quite shaggy. Some develop a line like mane, but not all do. They can be a solid colour of black, white, red, blue or cream, or can have various combinations of two or more of these colours. The most common Maine Coon pattern is the mackerel tabby, but there are also classic tabby, ticked tabby, tortoiseshell and calico variations. Some coats are smoke, where the tips are darker and the roots are cream or white. With all of these colours and pattern options, there are at least 85 different Maine Coon coat possibilities. The paws of the Maine Coon are large and you'll notice tufts of fur sprouting between their toes which would have served them well in the harsh North American winters. Their ears are also well furnished, with plenty of fur on the inner surface and hair shooting from the points, often referred to as lynx tips. These can vary substantially in length, from one cat to the next, from barely noticeable to over an inch long. The face of the Maine Coon is quite distinctive. It has a squarer muzzle than many other breeds and large, almond-shaped eyes set at an oblique angle. These can be shades of green, orange, amber or gold. 
You'll only ever see blue eyes or odd eyes on solid white or part white Maine Coons. Maine Coons have exceptional personalities. They are gentle, friendly and sociable. However, a lot depends on how well one is socialised in the crucial first three months of its life and we'll cover this more later in this video. Maine Coons are confident, playful cats who love people and are particularly good with children. They also thrive well with other pets. They are inquisitive and interested in what's going on around them and they love attention and company. The Maine Coon is not a cat that likes to be left alone for long periods, so if you're going to be out at work all day, Try to have a pair of Maine Coons from the same litter, and we show how well this works in our video, linked here. Or, get another kitten of a similar age so they will bond and play together. As well as having a super personality, Maine Coons are communicative cats. They have a wide vocabulary and will use it to let you know what they want. Apart from meowing, they trill, chirrup, chirp, purr, and emit a whole variety of unusual high-pitched squeaks. And here's a few examples of one of our old Maine Coons, Harry, doing just that. A Maine Coon likes to be near its owner, and loves to be petted and fussed over, but not all like to sit on laps. Some do, but some are happy to settle nearby. Maine Coons are as easy to care for as any other long-haired cat. First of all, annual health checks and vaccinations are highly recommended. Then, a high-protein diet is high on the list. You can choose wet, dry or raw food, but the key is to make sure you serve food that contains all the necessary nutrients and is designed for your cat's life stage. Maine Coons like to drink from flowing water so you might want to invest in a drinking fountain. You don't have to bar for Maine Coon, but some people choose to, and occasionally find they have to, for hygiene reasons. We recommend a good grooming regime from day one to ensure a Maine Coon's coat doesn't get tangled and matted. Daily play sessions will keep a Maine Coon fit and healthy, and prevent lethargy and boredom setting in. Maine Coons can thrive well as indoor cats, but if you can let one outside in a safe enclosure or escape-proof garden, it will be a happy cat. Some owners choose to let their Maine Coons roam free, but this is a personal decision that should be made after weighing up all the risks involved where you live. Maine Coons are relatively healthy cats. On average, they live for 12 to 13 years, but lately, more and more cats are exceeding this expectation. One reason for this is that careful breeding practices are preventing the spread of many inherited diseases. One that specifically affects a Maine Coon is spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA, a genetically transmitted disease of a lower spinal cord which causes muscle wastage in the hind legs. Three other hereditary conditions that can affect any cats, including Maine Coons, are the heart condition, an hereditary form of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM, the hip joint disease, hip dysplasia, and polycystic kidney disease, or PKD. All of these conditions can be eradicated by screening breeding cats and neutering or spaying those that carry the faulty genes. So, it's best to avoid breeders who don't follow this practice. One last thing. There is a non-hereditary form of HCM that can develop in older cats, but occasionally affects younger ones. This is why it is a good idea for all kittens and cats to be thoroughly examined by a vet every year. Finally, a popular question is, why are Maine Coons so expensive? Prices can range from $800 to $2,000 in the US and $750 to £1,200 in the UK. But are those prices justified? Yes, they are, because breeding healthy Maine Coons costs a lot of money. Breeders have to recoup the costs of buying and caring for breeding cats, and then there are the care costs of kittens for at least the first 12 weeks of their lives. These include vet checks, vaccinations, food, litter, microchipping, registration fees, and more. Choosing the right breeder is the most important step 
when buying a Maine Coon kitten. Find a recommended one and ensure they are registered with a cat club, such as the Cat Fanciers Association, the CFA. Their breeding cats should also be registered and clear of the genetic conditions we mentioned earlier. The mother should have had at least a 10 month break between litters and she and her kittens should have clean eyes, noses and ears. Kittens should be well socialised by the breeder to ensure they develop confidence around people. They should also be registered, checked by a vet and vaccinated twice. Never accept a kitten younger than 12 weeks as they need to be with their mother and litter mates until then. The breeder should provide kitten insurance to cover their first four weeks with you. Finally, meet the stud if possible and ask whether he has been screened for genetic conditions. That was a lot of information to take in, so here's a summary of those steps. We do hope you found this video helpful and if you'd like to know even more about Maine Coon cats, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. You'll also find plenty more Maine Coon information available on our channel Pets KB. Goodbye for now.